Hello and welcome along to Adobe Illustrator Basics with your host Robert Smith. In this video we're going to investigate a thing called the Shape Build tool. What this does, this allows us to make uh, round corner rectangles and do a lot of the functions that the Pathfinder does. Now there's many ways of doing things in Illustrator. This is just one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I've got no fill. I've got a black stroke and I've got about two pointers good for this exercise. I'm going to click my rectangle tool like this and just draw out a rectangle like this. Now I'm going to copy it. Command C to copy it. And now Command F to place it right on top. So now I've taken that copy. As you can see it's right on top if I move it. So I'll just put it back into position like that. Now I need to go to Effect, Convert to Shape, Rounded Rectangle. And I'm going to put 0 in there, Tab, 0, Tab. Now as I adjust this number you'll notice that the corner gets more round. Like that. Let's do that. That'll do 26 millimeters and OK. Now I've got two rectangles and I've just selected both of them with the black arrow tool like that. Then I'm going to go to Object Expand Appearance. Now that's a little bit uh, advanced for this video but that's all to do with the fact we've put an effect on but more of that later. Now I'm going to go to my Shape Builder tool like this and as you can see as I roll over my shapes now that I get this meshed looking selection as, as I roll over each section. Now I'm just simply going to click and drag up like that. That'll give me a square. Click and drag up. I'm on the Shape Builder tool. Click and drag down like that. Now this is different. I want to get rid of this part here. So Option like that. I'm holding the Option key down. Clicking and dragging. And there you go. We now have a round corner rectangle. So let's put that into practice. If we go over here we've got an image I'm going to trace and put some images in like this one here for example. It's got a rounded corner so let's do the same thing here. I'm going to grab a rectangle like this and drag it out. That's about that shape. I might zoom in a bit more so I can see it a bit better. Again Command C, Command F to place the copy right on top of the other one. Then I'm going to go to Effect, Convert to Shape, Rounded Rectangle and again 0, Tab 0 and in here I'm going to change this. As you can see as I change the numbers the corner gets more and more round. So I need about 5 millimeters down here is what I want. Or maybe 6 or maybe if I go to 5 it's close. Between 5 and 6, 5 is close enough. I'm going to go OK like that. Then I'm going to select those two rectangles. Go to Object, Expand Appearance and now back to my Shape Builder tool and I'm going to click and drag up like that and click and drag up, click and drag down like that. This one here I'll do the opposite. I'm going to hold the Option key down and click and drag and now I've got my, if I go back to my black arrow tool, I've got a round corner rectangle. So let's place an image in that. So I'll just zoom out a little bit. I'll go to File, Place like this. Let's grab some strawberries and click place. Now that's enormous. So I'm going to hold my shift key down with the black arrow and just drag it right down until it's about that big. I just want to fill that with strawberries. So now I need to go object, arrange center back to place those strawberries behind that shape. And I'll click on the shape, hold the shift key down, click on the strawberries and go to Object, Clipping Path, sorry, Clipping Mask, Make. And there it is. Let's have a look at that. Now we have this great round corner shape here with a picture of some strawberries in it. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Let's watch it in action here. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to use the Ellipse tool. I'm going to go make sure I've got a, a black stroke and no fill. And we'll go with maybe two points is good for our stroke, just so we can see it a bit better. Now I'm going to hold the Option and the Shift key down and drag out like this to make a circular um, shape like that. That's about right. And I might zoom back out again so I can see it. Yeah, I'm going to nudge it into shape with just using my arrow keys like that. 
I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to draw another one here, another shape. So I'm going to hold the Option key down. I'm trying to match this shape in here. That's about right. So I'll just using my arrow keys, I might just move that around a little bit and over like that. That's about right. I'll do the same down here. Hold the Option Shift till I get approximately the shape I want. And just nudge it into place like that using the up and down arrow keys. Okay, now the difference um, with the Shape Builder this time is because we have not applied an effect like this, for example, when we go to Object, we can't expand Appearance. Now, if I select the three of them, like this, and go to Object, there is no Expand ex Appearance. Now, that's because we haven't applied an effect to these, so that's okay. We can go ahead and grab our Shape Builder tool, hold the Minus key down, click and drag up like that, and up here, Option, click and drag down, and there's our shape. We also need to get rid of the um, this bit over here, so to do that, I'm just going to draw a rectangle in like that. I'm going to select both of them with my marquee tool by dragging across the top. Then I'm going to go to my Shape Builder tool, then Option, click like that. And now we've got a shape we can paste into or place an image into. So I'm going to go File, Place. This time I'm going to place this face in there. Again, it's far too big, so I'll just hold my go to my black arrow tool, hold my shift key down and click on the corner and drag until it's about the right size. That's about it there. I'll go to Object, Arrange, Send it back, like that. And I just might move that image around. That's about perfect. Now to place it inside that shape, I'll select the shape, hold the shift key down and select the image at the back. So now I've got both the, sh the shape, the path, and the image selected. I'll go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And there it is. Let's zoom in, have a look at that. And there's our image inside the shape. Now we can do the same thing here. But we don't have to do it, demonstrate this because it's simply a matter of just drawing a circle like that. We don't have to use our Shape Builder. Okay, that's it. That's a basic overview of the Shape Builder tool, which is much like the Pathfinder operation. Uh, thanks for watching.